all, yeah. <laughs> the life, yeah, of a treasure hunter. Oh, <laughs> for jewelry designer Anna Curry, yeah, a rare vintage coffee table is the crown jewel of her home. <laughs> Now, this is a very attractive home. Yes, a very attractive woman. <laughs> and you see how these walls go way up here? Yes. Mm -hmm. The interior design is just beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> you know, I was reading this article a few days ago, and... I've been carrying it with me for quite a long time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, it says, I never wanted to have a store, says Brazilian jewelry designer and sculptor. Yes. And a query. Oh, <laughs> that is so not me. Oh, how frustrating it is to have to have a jewelry store. Yes. Where she uses her creativity. Yes. 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 To uh, make jewelry and different types of sculptures and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and the artwork she collected from all over the world. <laughs> now, when I was reading this about um, not being yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought about what I wanted to sell. <laughs> See, there's what's known as the underwear wardrobe. <laughs> where I need to measure the naked bodies of some women. Yes. So they can have a new kind of bra called the wedge. Yes. That lifts their breasts so their nipples are always forward. Right. And different types of um, lingerie pieces. Yes. Where I wanted to have women that wanted to have their own wardrobe of lingerie. Yeah. So they can look so erotic while at work. Yes. Then there was the outerwear wardrobe. Poop. Mm hmm but you know what I find very, very attractive is the custom-designed jewelry pieces that go with the wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's one thing to have this beautiful lingerie. Yes. The panties are 30 to 50% see-through. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Covers two-thirds of your buttocks. <laughs> the, the middle two-thirds, not the outside two-thirds. Yeah. And it all is custom fit for you so that when you're at work... Yeah. You feel sexy as a woman, yes, but you're very conservative in your outerwear. <laughs> I designed the outerwear wardrobe based upon, yes, mm -hmm, the 1911 mm -hmm, Abercrombie and Fitch uh, wardrobe. Yeah, <laughs> it was a catalog. Yeah, yeah, for women in the early 1900s. <laughs> but let's say. You want it to be a jewelry consultant. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is designed for women that want to spend $10,000 a year in undergarments. Yep. That want to recycle the garments themselves after wearing them. <laughs> it's designed so that you could have a web presence. Yes. Where you do know your sizes because you're a, you're a client of the underwear wardrobe. Yeah. So that when you, when you order the outerwear. Yes. Mm-hmm. Early 1900s. Yes. I know your actual size and shape so that it fits you, the woman. Yes. But what I wanted was some women that want to custom design jewelry. Yes. For your skin color. <laughs> for the pigment. Now, let's say I wanted to buy some jewelry today. 